This is it for me. This is beauty portraits. This is what women love. This is where they look young, beautiful, lit up. This is where I put a highlight in their eye, where I get a gorgeous cat li catch light. This is where I dodge and burn the eye. This is where I open up. And those two lighting sources are my most dominant lighting sources. Now, when I started shooting in the studio, um, when I started shooting in this studio, obviously the first thing I do is hang curtains. There's no curtains in the studio today, so I'm going to show you a few hacks because sometimes you'll be shooting somewhere where there are no curtains, and I'm also going to show you a couple of ways around it. Um, I've also got two options. I've got a $400 laser light scrim. Now, Felix made me buy this monstrosity, and it pretty much stays up in my studio all the time. It falls down every now and then and scares the hell out of my puppy, um, but it really is quite a remarkable piece of equipment. For starters, it's light. It's worth its weight in gold, um, but it's gold. That's $400, and when you're starting out, I would never have been able to budget $400 for a scrim. And I certainly wouldn't have spent $400 on a scrim when I can buy fabric for 20 bucks. So I'm going to show you why the scrim is so good and the hack version of it because I've always hacked everything. John, I'll have that, okay? It's polyester chiffon. I have carried this piece of fabric in my camera bag for over eight years. I don't think I've ever washed it. I was just thinking, I've, it goes everywhere, it lies on the ground, it's all on, it doesn't smell bad, I, I don't quite know, but I pretty much take this with me everywhere, this is pre-scrim days, so for eight years I pretty much do this, and if I can find a hook or a rail, I've got clamps in my bag, I will do anything, I will make a stranger, I will charm a stranger in a park to hold this before me, because that there is the ultimate scrim. I've got enough to double it up, I've got enough to triple it, I've got enough to quadruple it, and that's pretty much what I do. So I said to the guys when I, they set up last night, I was like, can somebody like give me a railing or a bit of string? And they built me this amazing rig, which is so cool, because it's not really reminiscent of, you know, how my hack version, I mean, look at my great, look at my great rig, but look at that, that is beautiful light. It is beautiful, diffused light for 15 bucks. And so don't tell me you can't diffuse the light. And secondly, if I had a dollar for every time somebody asked me where they can buy a V-flat or a polystyrene sheet from, um, I'd be very wealthy. Uh, the V-flats and the poly boards came from this. My very first studio had bead wall. Okay, the film industry have used it for 100 years. They call it bead wall because it's actually polystyrene beads all stuck together in one big sheet. You can buy it at insulation stores, Home Depot, Bunnings, wherever you want to go. You buy them, I buy them for $20. They're the size of this, so they're four by eight feet. They are the single best source of reflected light that you can buy. They're light, they've been in my studio for 26 years. I find them in every country I go to. Found them in New Zealand, found them in Australia, found them in LA. And so when people say I can't find them anywhere, I always just get this sharp pain behind my eye because I can find them everywhere. I just Google polystyrene. And when I first came to Creative Live and I did a shoot here, they brought these out and they said, oh, we don't have any poly boards, but we got you some V flats. And a V flat, would you know it, is white on one side and black on the other. And it's made from foam core. Okay, I've had people buy it at art supply stores, I've had people buy it, but largely most professional photographic suppliers sell them as V-flats. When I moved to Los Angeles, I called EVS, I said, hey, do you have V-flats? They're like, yeah, they're $17.99. I was like, can I have eight of them? Uh, they delivered them, I gaff taped them together myself, black gaff tape on the black side, white gaff tape on the white side, and they are easy. They're smaller than poly boards, but you'll probably find poly boards are easier to find. I don't care, I'll take either, because watch what I do with them. It will really blow your mind. Okay, but the crazy part about the V-flats is they also double as a backdrop. So, you know, not the best thing to travel with, because they're not going to fit in your car, unless you've got a really big truck, but for the studio, one of the best systems of lighting you can actually get. So that means I've got a $15 scrim, I've got a $35 V flat backdrop, and that's all I need to make $3,000 in daylight. And so I was like, give me a camera, give me a woman, give me some window light, give me a V flat, and give me the ability to diffuse and bounce that light, and I am in business. But that is it for me. I don't need anything more. I need one good camera and one good computer to work my images, and that's it. I'm in business.